that we represent. What is the cost? What is the cost of the president's alleged ties uh, to Russia? What is the cost of the president's alleged obstruction into the investigations that are taking place? Yeah. And what is the cost of the president's abuses of power and firing people investigating him and Sally Yates mm. and, and Director Comey? Well, the cost is that our democracy has become a mess. Our ability to help people put food on their table, oh, here roof we go. over their head, here we go. and provide opportunity to their kids oh, my God. has been gridlocked oh, and please. brought to a halt. By who? And the future cost of future elections is now threatened. All right, there's a, a whiplash for you. I mean, this is so stupid. Uh, everybody's going to starve. You put food on the table. Come on. Wah, 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 wah. No collusion whatsoever with Donald Trump. And is it really a shock, though, for anybody that voted for Donald Trump or has kept up with any of the politics with Donald Trump that he is unconventional? He's a construction guy. He's a real estate guy. How he speaks is not the way Washington speaks. Now, I will tell you, I, I bet, I bet that Donald Trump is getting a good schooling in D.C. politics. Um, Mike Pence, I, I, I would be certain that would be very helpful to navigate around this, but Mike Pence knows about the, tr the swamp and formality. There's people in his cabinet that understand the formality. They understand, but Trump has to be Trump. They're not going to allow him to just throw out all the intelligence and show us uh, show uh, the Russians um, our aces and to make us vulnerable. He understands that they are not exactly the friendliest folks, but at the same token, they understand that Russia is a superpower. They have nukes aimed at us. We have nukes aimed at them with they you know all sorts of economic ties um, and militarily folks, we're not the only superpower, and it's, they're not the only country uh, that comes to the White House. Turkey comes there. Israel comes there. Saudi Arabia comes there. I mean, they come to the White House. They all come. It's how quickly the left forgets about the conversations that Obama's had and what he's done to actually interfere with DOJ. And things that he has said to the media during the investigation is actually, but it is his, his headed in with all sorts of different ongoing investigations to politic into the investigations. But there's been no proof that he did anything illegal. And now Comey, my thoughts on this altogether is that he's ticked off that he was fired. He was pissed off. If he kept notes, that's great. Then his notes should reveal, hopefully, he'll tell the truth. But who knows? He's supposed to be a Boy Scout. Hopefully, he'll do the right thing. But the strong arm Comey and saying stop the investigation, you know, altogether, or there was nothing close to it. Um, To Flynn. Yeah, to, to the Michael Flynn case. So, again, this is trying to gridlock Washington once again and with the Washington Post, the New York Times and you know the nation's liberal newspapers and news news media they uh, they they are having a field day with us they're having a great time and then a lot of them would say well you know Donald Trump he did this to himself you know he did it, it, it it's all him it's all his fault he has nobody to blame excuse me <laughs> There's a leak to the media, and it would be really nice to find out. But you know what? I would imagine over the next several weeks, look, Mike Huckabee fired everybody uh, in his office when he took over, you know, when he was in Washington. You, you know, you, you have to sometimes get new blood in there. And I think uh, a measure of good faith, I think Donald Trump kept these folks over from the Obama administration in good faith. But they don't deserve it. 
there's going to have to be a purging of the system altogether. By the way, this half hour is brought to you by 123 Ready TV. If you've not downloaded this app, it is a fine app for all the movies that are in the theater now or have been once upon a time, the classics, the new stuff, and your favorite TV shows, new and old. All the stuff under one roof called 123 Ready TV. Where do you get it? It costs $19.99 one time. That's it. It's not a subscription. You buy the app for $19.99 one time, and you can start enjoying all those titles. And forget about the cable because it's already streaming on the Internet. Now, you'd need Internet access. But if you can get it on your Android device, phones, or on your personal computer, 123 Ready TV works there, and it works terrific. I love it. My friends love it. Family loves it. And I can't get enough of it. 123 Ready TV. Experience entertainment like you've never experienced to get. Uh, I'm telling you, it's great. 123 Ready TV at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's where you download it right now. Click on the store page. And if you want to see it in action, watch the video. ForThePeopleShow.com. Click on the store page and get yours now. By the way, I'm a little excited. Um, you know, we're raising money for uh, our station campaign for this summer so we can uh, you know, call on stations and uh, present for the people so we can get on more stations across the country. A friend yesterday said... And I can't, I, would you like a monthly donation or would you like a one time donation? And I'm thinking because we're talking about bringing that thermometer up. So let me just say this about that. Uh, this person has donated before to the uh, broadcast and so appreciative of it because it really enables us to do what we do every single day. And it's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of time investment in this, but we love this country. We want people to have information because information's power and to make decisions, and so you understand what's going on so you can hear what's going on and be informed so you're not in the dark. And I think every American needs that, and they need to be able to give it, uh, get it straight and uh, with no nonsense, with common sense, and that's what For the People can do. I'm asking you, let's not put this all on maybe a few individuals in the country that support and do this. It's generous of them, but please help. And it did this friend um, that, that, that supports For the People and other supporters like this individual. Um, go to ForThePeopleShow.com on our front page, and you can see where you can give and you can make a donation. And we would really appreciate if you've never given uh, towards anything. Maybe it's your first time. You'll feel great about it. But if you find yourself tuning into the show and if you haven't supported the show, well, folks, why not consider giving? You know, it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. I'm telling you, it is a blessing. And any time that I give, I always find that to be true. But again, support something you believe in. And if you believe in us, I'm asking you to support us today. Will you do that? ForThePeopleShow.com. That's where you can find us on the web. I'm Keith Allen. More For The People straight ahead. Don't go anywhere. Here's a message to every rapist, domestic abuser, violent criminal thug, and every other monster who preys upon women. Maybe you've heard the stories about millions of us flocking to gun stores and gun ranges for the first time, the second time, and the hundredth time. Here's what that means for despicable cowards like you. Your life expectancy just got shorter. Because there's a very good chance your next target will be armed, trained, and ready to exercise her right to choose her life over yours. This is what real empowerment looks like. Millions of American moms, grandmothers, and professional women taking our lives and our families' lives into our own capable hands. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. It's done like anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us and went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you, 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. 
It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew is I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. Just numb it, don't feel anything. I was angry. I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft. I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Wounded Warrior Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket, and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had to drive and desire. Please. Call or go online with your gift right now. Making a difference is something we strive to do each day at For the People. Our broadcast takes today's news and puts it into perspective with a common sense approach. Even Bill Clinton on the stump said that it was broken, it was laughable, it was a joke, it wasn't helping people, real people, it wasn't. Because the premiums are too high. For the People needs your help. We are asking you to help us raise $5,000 so we can get the word out to more places that might one day carry For the People. Just log on to For the People's website at ForThePeople'sShow.com. By partnering with us, you're ensuring our survival and giving others the opportunity to hear a quality show that cares about America and your future. To make a donation, type ForThePeople'sShow.com into your browser. That's ForThePeople'sShow.com. Thank you for your support. The internet is a big place, but 123 Ready TV has made it easy to start enjoying all of the current movies you enjoy and those movie classics. What if I told you that you could start streaming everything now and all the latest movies for just $19.99 and it's a one-time charge, not monthly. 123 Ready TV is a media app that you can have on your PC or your Android phone. You see, this app allows you to stream movies and TV shows, weather, and anything you already have on your PC or your phone or on the Internet. Plus, no commercials. Find out why so many people are using this amazing media player. Start saving money and start enjoying all your favorite TV shows now and movies for just a one-time payment of $19.99. To get yours, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com and click on the store page for your 123 Ready TV. Your daily dose of common sense with Keith Allen, that's me. And our broadcast is called For the People and Found Online. And on radio stations across the country, our website is ForThePeopleShow.com. You know, it's getting hot. You know, the weather's uh, warmed up in the Midwest, getting some tornadoes. You probably saw some of those. Texas getting their fair share. Make sure you have your weather radios. Firm believer in that. Temperatures as they rise, folks just don't drink enough water. Uh, They get hot. And if you're running a marathon, if you're running, you're exercising, you're jogging uh, really quickly, um, you know, you'd be surprised. You might be walking around and not feeling very, very good. You might find out that you're actually dehydrated. Uh, but bad things can happen, and such is the case today in Washington, D.C., where Senator Tom Tillis, he collapsed during a uh, race in the morning, pretty scary, uh, where he was taken away in an ambulance. But then he was later released, and uh, here is he actually assuring everybody everything's okay. Hey, everybody. I'm fine. Just running about two and a half miles in. Got overheated. No CPR, no special measures. Just checking me out. See you back on the hill. 
Well, there you go. Um, it, it was said that he was given CPR. Uh, there's a lot.